Hey, it's me, and today is another episode of Dollar Store Makeovers. It's one of your guys' favorites. I'm actually really glad about that. I just love to show that you can have fun creating. You don't have to buy expensive stuff to customize. You can get stuff from the dollar store, sweetums. The fun part is the creativity. So I have been collecting a bunch of different things from the dollar store recently, putting them away into a little cubby cabinet thing. I haven't looked at what's in there before I sat down to do this intro, but I seem to recall a couple things that I was really looking forward to painting. Oh, yes. I remembered one of them that I really want to do today. Let's get into the dollar store makeovers. Okay. Oh. That was way too loud. So the first dollar store items are these clips. Believe it or not, these are actually what I was remembering in my mind when I got really excited. Remember this face? Looking at them now, uh, they honestly don't seem all that exciting. Maybe not worthy of this face, but of course I'm still interested in painting them. They're just cheap looking chip clips. Hold on, no! Multi-purpose clips for food storage, small toys, and craft supplies. <gasps> I have craft supplies. Oh, and also paper files. <laughs> There's three in the pack. Orange, pink, gray. A very random grouping of colors. Let me take these out of the packaging or off of the packaging. Who cares? <laughs> I think these are supposed to be cats, yet they clearly have bear ears. Oh no. I'm not fully enjoying that. It makes me slightly uncomfortable, as does that. Anyway, my plan for these is to just paint over the face part because I still want these to be functional. So I'm not gonna be like painting on the inside, all the innards and all that, because it would probably get really messy if I tried to paint all up in there. Which means you're still gonna see a lot of the original color. So even though I'm not a fan of the orange, pink, gray, I'm gonna have to work with it. I'm gonna start with the gray clip just to kind of get it over with, I guess, because I'm not overly excited about gray. Giving this a quick sand to rough it up a little bit. There you go my darling, you're looking fabulous. And now we are ready for paint, this paint. It's a light gray, which is what I want, but this is a warm gray and this is a cool gray. Very, very clashy, not appealing. This is nightmares. <sighs> little dramatic. So I'm adding a bit of blue to try to cool that down a bit. Here, have some more blue. Cool off a little. That's not doing it. Bringing in the big boy. Get some power in there. There we go. Much better. You see that difference? No. It matters, trust me. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to match these grays perfectly. If that was the goal, this would have been a big fail. I actually want the face to be a lighter version of the base color. I'm going for like a two-toned thing. A gray-faced bear was actually quite difficult for me to picture. I mean, I'm just not super inspired by that. The only thing I could think of was a gray sky bear. bear. <laughs> what? A sky bear. So I added clouds to it and then I decided to give it a little color. So I added some rosy cheeks. This did not go well. The cheeks ended up covering the edge of the cloud, making this whole area look weird. Just weird. I'm currently trying to convince myself that I like it. No, no, it's, it's good. It's nice. I really like it. So I I'm moving on to painting the little pink ears and drawing on a face. I made him with a sleepy face. He's a sleepy bear. Maybe when he's in a good mood, the sky is blue, but today he's having a bad day. It's gray skies for sky bear. Um, there it is. Yeah, I, I hate it. Why is the face so low? Why is the eye on the cheek? The cheeks and the clouds. Ugh. So off camera, I did this, trying to help, but I didn't. Then I did that. Bro, no. Finally, I came to terms with the fact that this basically just needs to be redone. I went with like little circle cartoony cheeks. I redid all the facial features. And there, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best that it got. That's it. Not a masterpiece. It's my piece. It's a meester piece. <laughs> Next is the pink cat bear quickly scraping the face off and I'm applying a nice light pink to go with the two-tone thing. Now, since this is part of a set and the number one, the gray clip, remember that, hopefully, or else we may need to get you checked out. It was a sky bear and I decided that I want to stick on theme. So what's something else that lives in the sky? Uh, clouds, air, oh, rainbows. I didn't plan this in advance. Okay. 
day just kind of snuck up on me. It was an opportunity, and I said, well, fine, okay, yeah, I'll do rainbow. You twisted my arm, and it has absolutely nothing to do with my lifelong rainbow obsession. I did some nice big open eyes for this one, and this one was pretty nice, straightforward. It was just like, boom, boom, it's done. Last clip is the orange one. Again, with the face shredding, perfect. And I went with a light orange on the face. Ooh, again, we have a shade discrepancy. Nobody cares. Let me fix that. Yes, much better. Still sticking with the sky theme, I'm making this one a sun bear because you know how the sun is in the sky. So I'm putting the sun around its eye. She's like a little ball of sunshine and she's hyper. She's that morning person that's like, hi, good morning, what a wonderful day. And everyone is like, shut up, I want my pillow. I added some little details, including some little freckles, which I don't know why, but the one cheek yellow freckles, mm, it got me. I'm like sold. Don't you contradict me, they are lovely. So here are the three little bears, not the three little bears, but just three little bears. These are the sky bears, cloud bear, rainbow bear, sun bear. They're very creatively named. And I'm applying a nice thick varnish to them to protect my paint. So before these were three bland and unimaginative bear cats and now introducing the sky bears. Wow. Look, I mean, these are cute. Not the most amazing things that I've ever created, but I do like them. I did feel very limited by the specific colors that I had to work with. But hey, sometimes when you have a restriction like that, you just come up with ideas that you never would have come up with otherwise. And what would we do without the Sky Bears? They're like the less cool version of the Care Bears. And that's definitely something that we need in the world. Okay, next, I've chosen to work on this door hanger that I got from the dollar store. You know, you just kind of put it on the handle like, like so. so and I thought this was perfect because I have a door fascinating I have a door to my art room it's a good door it's one of the good ones also this sticker is very loose <laughs> okay this item is specifically for painting and decorating so it's a little bit less of a makeover and more so just doing what you're supposed to do with a craft specific object but Still, it's from the dollar store and I'm painting on it. Whatever. Get rid of that sticker and this thing. Now, I do want my door hanger to actually have a function. I was thinking I could use it to indicate when I am filming in here. So I wrote out recording in progress and I was trying to make it look like that standard record message. I put the dot up there, <laughs> that's degrees. And then down there, that's a period. Oh my God. The dot is in front. How did I not realize this? I removed the in progress. I hate my handwriting. I wanna minimize the amount of it that I have to look at. Finished planning the design and we're ready for paint. I'm gonna mix a whole fresh new palette of colors, starting with a white base for all of them and adding all the colors on top, then mixing all of them into a fresh pastel rainbow. And there, that's all my colors. I just wanna eat them, the yumminess, the glossy, luscious I'm honestly scared. So anyway, time to get started. And I jumped right in without thinking about it, painting the red record banner. Then I realized, idiot, the letters are supposed to be red, not the background. Dumb. So I'll have to go over that later. I did go with bubble letters instead of the standard like square letters. I just felt like they're more my style. From there, I'm jumping into the rainbow part of this. I added a rainbow paint splatter coming from behind the banner. Obviously the typical record Recording message is very standard. It's plain recording, but I wanted to show I'm recording one of my videos. Most likely that means there's paint and rainbows. And oh, look at this. The background is turning into a waffle cone. So I need to communicate everything that's going on in here with this sign just to be polite. So this doesn't just say recording. This says recording and also painting with cutesy rainbows and possibly involving desserts. I'm going ahead and fixing up the rainbow splashes and also going over the red letters to neaten all of that up. I added a few little shadows to the rainbow paint and then this red record circle. It was calling to me. I could not resist turning it into a cherry. I know, I know, it's not supposed to be a cherry. And now it almost like distorts the message here. What does that say? Cherry wreck? I don't know what that means now. Finally, I'm adding sprinkles to it. I can't dare to deprive you all of the sprinkle song or you will just have an absolute fit. I'm 
I'm adding some matte varnish to this and once that dried, it's finished. But I can't help but notice there's another side to this. I could just leave it, it you know, it's the back. Maybe it doesn't need anything, but no, I can't, okay? I can't just leave it. I'm doing a whole other design on this side. So for the front, the message is, hey, I'm recording. You may or may not wanna come in right now, depending on how considerate you are. On this side, I'm gonna put a less confusing message of come in, just come in. I welcome you. So I'm drawing pickle holding the sign and then Derp is gonna be there and he's, oh, that's how I drew his face before? I should have left it like that. I kept messing with Derp's face and changing it and I wanted to give him a really excited face like he's cheering, but for some reason I was having issues getting him there. Several versions were just awful. Eventually I've decided to live with one of the slightly less horrible options and get to painting. And again with the rainbow. I'm doing a nice blended rainbow background for this. You know, I had already made the paint um, and it was a whole rainbow of paint. It was just so easy to do this. Um, basically I had to. Essentially I was forced this whole video. Me not taking responsibility for painting yet another rainbow. Then I'm starting on pickle. The classic pastel pickle green and of course the baby blue derp. And then painting the sign that is just white. Okay and bringing in more of the detail work now and derp's mouth is just oh still not going very well. I'm gonna take a break from that and just work on the lettering on my sign. As I said I have horrible handwriting so I like to do what is a derpy style where the letters are all intentionally misaligned so that it looks cute but that's really just to distract from the fact that I am incapable of doing actual nice handwriting. Back to fixing Derp's mouth. Still not the greatest version of Derp I've ever seen. Next I'm gonna add a whole bunch of confetti all around because it's supposed to look welcoming okay. Not only are you welcome to come in but if you do come in you're instantly gonna be greeted with cheering and confetti falling from the sky. Actually no that would not happen okay. Most likely if you walk into my art room you're just gonna catch me doing something very mundane and I'd probably say something ordinary like Hello. And there's a small chance that you may find me doing something very unusual and possibly concerning. But that's pretty rare, okay? So I wouldn't worry about it. I drew the confetti very concentrated in Derp's hands to make it look like he was the one who was throwing it. And that's it, that's the completed design. So of course we started with the blank door hanger and now it's this. I'm quite happy with both sides of it. They're very different from each other. I wasn't sure if they needed to match or like be coordinated or not but I figured since you can't see both sides at one time, they don't need a match, but I like both of them. I think that they're really cute, but this is actually very functional. I am actually going to put this on my door and use it to tell people what's happening. That's everything that I've painted in this dollar store makeover. Normally I do three things, but um, one of the items was actually three things and the other item was actually kind of two things because it was double-sided. So you could see this as me doing two things or you could see this this is me doing five things, up to you. Let's just give me credit for five, okay? I'll take it. I'm very happy with how all of these things came out. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Dollar Store Makeovers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Bye. <laughs>